So this machine, we, we had to lose a machine uh, to get this in, but really it's taken up three machines worth of work. So if we had a machine breakdown, that would really hurt us before, but now we can just move work onto this and it wouldn't affect us at all. So I work at Dicker Position, uh, I'm the Operations Manager, uh, been here 22 years now, started off as a young 17 year old, um, yeah just worked my way up and yeah just, just love it here now, yeah part of the furniture, um, yeah so we are subcontractors uh, mainly in the pump business uh, but yeah can do multiple things but yeah. So Eastbourne, which is just down the road really, is a uh, pumping town, um, quite a few different businesses um, and that's where we fell into the pump industry really. Um, we do stuff for the States as well and in Denmark, so it's not just local, um, but yeah, we are mainly pump business. So the pump's mainly stainless steel, um, we do get some ex exotic materials, um, machines, this sort of one can go up to sort of a micron, a couple of microns, it's um, yeah, very, very good at keeping tolerances and we need that for sort of dial positions on um, our rotors and rotor cases. So last year was a very busy year for us. Um, the orders didn't stop coming in and we just couldn't keep up. So it was either, we only do one shift here, so it's either go into another shift, a late, a late night shift, or invest in this, which we think was the, the best option because uh, it can run unmanned all the way through the night and it's yeah it's been amazing really with what it could do. It's hard to get skilled machinists these days, um, it's hard enough getting en enough for the single shift we do so yeah we just thought it'd be, it'd be too hard to do and this was the best option. Well one of our customers have got six of these in their factory so we know a bit about them, we spoke with them, worked with them a bit and um, they just said it would be a game changer for you, for you and yeah, proved it has been. Before we bought this, we were sort of two, three months behind on this sort of work and now within three months, we've caught right up and we actually need more work for it, yeah. The transition, I was quite nervous to be honest because we've never had a horizontal, let alone a horizontal 12 pallet machine. Um, but now we've had the training and I think it's probably the easiest machine to run because once you get set up, there's no set up times or anything. It's it's proven out and it will run run itself unmanned. The machine times have gone down compared to the, the, the mills we've got at the moment. Um, it can run unmanned, so it can run 24 hours a day. Um, again, let's say no setups, so we're, we're gaining on that, so we can be competitive in pricing. Yeah, I'm a machinist. Um, I uh, edit on the machine, so I'm not a programmer as such, but we do a lot of edits, so obviously the uh, programs come down and if it needs tweaking we tweak it. I generally use a single pallet machine, a vertical machine, but as of now sort of now onto the big monster so um, yeah sort of enjoying using this one. I've never used a, a 12 pallet machine before so it's a bit it's new technology to me. Um, I just come from another company um, to Dicker. I've been here nine months I, we used to use the uh, twin pallets and uh, quad pallets, so I have used the machine before, but not in this capacity. It's sped up the jobs. It's, it, the good thing about it is once obviously you've set the pallets and you've proved the job out, it's, and it's almost always set. So setup times are, have decreased. The potential also to, when you're setting up a job, it's happened before where a tool is not quite right and you've crunched the tool into the job. Once you've proven that, that pallet out and that side out, and it's, all, it's always set. So your tools are on this machine, we've got 120 tools. They're always set. So it's a matter of just if once the material comes in, putting it on the pallet and it's almost ready to run. You still obviously want to be careful, but the setup times are decreased. Um, yeah, so it, that's where you gain sort of so much time really and the less accidents of setting up a job from scratch, um, just misprobes and things like that. So yeah, time is like, the actual working of the jobs decreased because obviously your setup times are, are lower. Um, yeah, so there's less mistakes as well, which is quite good. I think it, it sort of streamlines 
we, Dale, your workload is so much quicker on here and it's almost like it'll run itself. So as long as it's fed with material, once the programs are set and you've proven them out, it's a matter of loading it and it pretty much runs itself. So although I still have to keep an eye on it and I have to keep an eye on the tool life and things like that, I run a second machine. So and as machinists will know, you get used to sort of different sounds, you can actually hear when the tips are going off, so even though you, you, know, you need to keep an eye on it, I can be over there and like, a face mill tip will chip and I can still hear the different pitching sound and then I can deal with it. But it is like running, it run, it'll run itself to be fair. We do run it late on on its own, so it's like free machining. So although the machines are not cheap, it's, a, it's obviously an initial outlay, you get that money back by the quickness of how it runs, the setup times, and actually the free machining when it's running itself while I'm doing something else. So it's, yeah, it's, it is a money saver and a money earner because of the amount of more work we've, we're running on the machine. So we used to run the covers we do here on a single machine over there and you're loading every one. Whereas on here, I'll load four and it'll just run through the four and then come off and then go on to the next pallet, run through the next four and without sort of any human intervention at all. So it is, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just good.